Hey everyone, Mr. Magintosh here, and we're back yet again for another Open Core Legacy Patcher update 0.6.4. This update fixes a really important problem with 2012 Macs on Mac OS Ventura. Plus, we're going to go over a brand new feature for new analytics reporting for the Open Core Legacy Patcher developers to make the application better. Plus, we're going to show you that issue live on a 2012 Mac. This one has the issue, we're going to fix that. You're going to want to stick around for this one. Let's jump and get started. Right in and talk about this 2012 issue. And this is what was missed in the previous video. I talked about users reporting issues with YouTube loading, apps crashing, and all kinds of things, but it, it was all over the place. And what was found out later, that it was focused to 2012 Macs with an Ivy Bridge CPU that was causing all of the issues. That is fixed in this update, and that's why I brought our 2012 15-inch MacBook Pro online to show you the issue. See, we've got YouTube here, but no matter what we do, we cannot get it to load this video. It will sit here and forever load. You click on play, and it just nothing will happen. We're going to upgrade from 0.6.3 to 0.6.4 to be able to fix the issue. Okay, let's download the brand new 0.6.4 app. We'll click on opencorepatcher.gui.app. Now, while we wait for this to download, this update to fix the 2012 issue is a little bit tricky. For example, you can't just install the root patches and have things fixed. What we usually do whenever we install an update is we want to have a matched open core on your local hard drive, which we use that command to check with the NVRAM command, which is the release 091. And then we match that with the latest version of the root patches. When you look at the notes, you're not going to notice any rev changes in the version number was 064. So if we go back to the previous updates in the releases and look at 0.6.3, we will see a rev in here, but there is changes to the open core on the internal hard drive in this particular release for 064. And this is where you'll see the rev number change for 091. So even after we update the patches on your local hard drive with open core, it's still going to show up as 091, but we know that we're installing it with the latest application. So now all we need to do is it's finished download. We'll open up applications and we will move our latest version to the applications folder and overwrite. There we go. Open it up. Open. Okay, now we've got our application. What we want to do is we want to install those open core drivers that were repaired in 064 for this 2000. So now the first thing we want to do is click build and install open core and click install to disk. Hard drive and EFI. Password. All we need to do is click on reboot and restart. Now, while we're letting restart, a lot of people sometimes will do both at the same time. They'll do open core first and the root patches at the same time. I like to install the, the open core to the internal hard drive first, make sure everything's okay. It comes back up and then we can apply the matching root patches to get all fixed up. Okay, we are back up after installing the open core patches and let's check that MVRAM command. We see that it is exactly the same and that's okay though, but there was changes. So let's go into our Safari and check our YouTube video. We'll refresh this. Hey, we're back. So now let's go back. We're not done yet. So we'll go into post install root patches in our latest version. And we see that we do have the updated patches available for 0.6.4 in this list. And the previous was patched in 0.6.3. Let's click on start root patching. Okay, we're back up. Let's make sure that those root patches install properly. We'll click on post install root patch and that all applicable patches have already been installed on 0.6.4 on today's date. Let's go over and make sure that our YouTube video loads and we'll click on play here. Our, this 2012 is all fixed up with 064. What I wanted to talk about next is should you install it on your Mac OS Big Sur or Mac OS Monterey and even Mac OS Ventura. Now this particular hotfix patch is for 2012 machines on Mac OS Ventura, but I'm still going to make sure that it works properly on our 2014 MacBook Pro running Mac OS Monterey here and our 2013 MacBook Pro running Mac OS Big Sur. And we'll show you that we are good to go on Mac OS Big Sur running the latest version of Open Core Legacy Patcher 0.6.4 and the latest version of Open Core. So we're good to go on Mac OS Big Sur, no issues. Now we'll go over to our Mac OS Monterey machine here and double check that we are good to go. We are running the latest version on 0.6.4 here and again, the latest version of open core on our hard drive. So on Mac OS Monterey, we are good. Now again, that hot fix does not affect these particular machines on Big Sur and Monterey, but the next thing we're gonna talk about is the new analytics option in the 0.6.4 application. 
So let's talk about the new analytics reporting that is built into the 0.6.4 app. This build implements a new backend for crash and analytics reporting to help with bug reports and better understand the project. More information can be found at the associated pull request. So let's talk about this for a second. One of the biggest problems of the patcher is the bug reports that are coming in don't necessarily turn into a issue that's widespread. For example, there's an issue, my app and is crashing and that person would submit a bug request to the GitHub. And then after detailed investigation, it was found that it was just due to that person's individual configuration and was not a widespread issue. But just think about the time that it takes to investigate that for a team that is based around volunteers to be able to make this application available to everybody. A lot of time is invested. So when the developers and Nicola put it all, they're all heads together, they said, well, why don't we focus in on the crashes that we see come in and on the models that are most represented across Open Core Legacy Patcher Analytics? Let's take a look at this pull request here. One of the most important things McCullough took into consideration was privacy. And what he mentions in here is that nothing about your IP address or you is sent. Only very specific entries are sent to his server to gather information. Here's the data that is recorded. It's all here. And that's the best part of this project. It's all open source and it's all here for you to be able to look at and see in full view. This is the information that is sent. The host UUID in a, a SHA-1 hash, the version of the application, the application version, the OS that you're using, the model that you're using, and the GPU architecture, firmware, and the location for the country, and a timestamp. This is a great idea to be able to have these analytics for the Open Core Legacy Patcher developers to be able to really focus in on getting these fixes put into place when we are literally dealing with thousands upon thousands of Macs with all kinds of different configurations. Imagine trying to troubleshoot that. If you don't like this, you can disable it in the Open Core Legacy Patcher applications before you even install it. Now, let me show you how to do that. We'll minimize this window here and we'll go back to the application. All you need to do is once the app is installed, go into settings and then go into the developer settings here and then click disable crash analytics and then return to the settings. And now those developer settings for the analytics will be disabled and nothing will be sent to the server. And you can see this little check mark box here sets whether the analytics are sent to the developer team. This is used to help improve the application and it is completely optional. Now, if you stuck around all the way to the end of the video, you are a true VIP Mr. Macintosh viewer. Now, I've got a little fun tidbit for you if you are thinking about those analytics. If you had to guess, put in the comments right now before I reveal the answer. What do you think is the number one model of MacBook that is reported in the analytics system? Put it in the comments now and you'll see if you're right or not. And the answer is the mid 2012 13-inch MacBook Pro is the number one device reporting into the new analytics system. How cool is that? I hope you enjoyed this video. If you got any questions, put them in the comments. We'll catch you in the next one. Thanks.